previously on Red Dead Redemption 2. Would you look at that? Yeah. Now let's burn those bloody fears to the ground. Lad him up, 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 lad him up, up, up. <gasps> get him, Charles! He's mine. Let me take him. And get out of here. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? <gasps> it was a trap! Arthur? Fourth. Uh, I told you it was a setup. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm playing Small Red Dead Redemption 2. And in the last episode, a lot of shit went down. We set a whole tobacco farm on fire, which was really fun. It honestly looked awesome, selling it all alight. And then towards the end of the episode, we did a mission for Dutch where we potentially were coming to an agreement with the O'Driscolls but then it was a setup. they stole Arthur, they kidnapped him and they beat him in an attempt to get Dutch to come and get him and then they would hand all of us, the gang, over to the law. Luckily Arthur managed to escape and we're back at the camp now but I am ready for some revenge. I hope you guys are too and so guys let's get into the gameplay. Mwah. Okay guys this is where we ended off. It's been a few weeks and I honestly feel like I need to give Arthur a shave. <laughs> like his hair's getting super long, his beard's a bit long. So let's give him a bit of a shave. I don't think we can cut his hair here. I would like to because it's a bit too long for my liking. Um, but we can trim all facial hair. Please. Um, I like it a bit longer on him. And then maybe trim the chin a bit more actually. Mm. There we go. That'll do for him. We can pomade the hair. Oh, hell yeah! Look at that hair! We're rocking the long hair, actually. Arthur is rocking it. Okay, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping the long hair. Right, so today we are... Let me just move my mic a bit. So we have two missions here. We can either go with Josiah Trelawney. Oh, wait, is it just the one? It is just the one. Don't worry guys, we're going to be unlocking more of this map when I stream tonight. So don't you worry. By the time you watch this, I would have unlocked a lot more of the map. So let's go see what Josiah Trelawney wants. I really hope we can get some revenge soon on the fucking O'Driscolls. Because I'm pissed that they would do such a thing to Arthur. I mean, Arthur has his flaws, okay? I know he has his flaws. He's not the most kind-hearted human. But he is when it comes to his gang. Arthur. Trelawney! Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you. Friends in very low places. Oh, what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick. But still, <laughs> man. Because I think I've, I found something interesting. Yeah. Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. I would have even thought. Of course, I robbed a goddamn <laughs> stagecoach. You know I have. And. What's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. <laughs> well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend. And Ooh. He's, he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could this require sounds good. A whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Right. Roads. Roads. <laughs> oh god, back to roads we go. Okay, come on, Forzen. Somehow his harness stayed attached there. Ah. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. <laughs> How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats. Among other things, <laughs> I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Well, look at the moon, Shares pretty. A gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd 
done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. Yeah, it's seeming this to get a, a bit, town. you know. Talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, here we are. We can hitch up outside. I have a feeling that I'll the whole family thing it's gonna go so bad. Like it's gonna blow up on our faces to a spectac spectacular degree. Good old Forzen, you legend. Thank you for being the best horse ever, Forzen. Yeah, you're strong. And thank you for surviving this long. <laughs> I did not expect it, and I don't think anyone else did either. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Oh, I almost forgot. Bill asked me to give you a message to meet him here in town as soon as you can. Something to do with the craze. I thought I'd nab you first. You did? Okay. Thanks. Okay, we're hanging back a bit. We look pretty sick though with our pomade. Our hair pomade. Look at that! Oh, we're so good looking! Where's he going? Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Can I sit down here? Like I said, times are tough. My missus is a nope. bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. Hey! But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. A car? They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The whip this of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Hey. How much are we giving him? Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah. If you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the... What did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it. Discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden. Or should I say... Adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. Yeah, adieu. Okay. Coach coming south down the river through Stillwater Strand. Valuables and, and strong box. Passenger is the very wealthy Mrs. Chester Damson. Aspiring but appalling opera singer. Use your imagination. Okay, well then. Let's go rob this damn stagecoach. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River road through Stillwater Strand, he said. Okay, I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, okay, let's go. This way. You know, Red Dead Redemption, I tweeted this the other day, is one of the only games where I haven't used fast travel. And when you guys see me cut out, what did I tell you? me traveling, as can be. it's because I just want to immerse myself for a few minutes a bit more. These days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that market business. Oh shit, it yeah. Sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you. <laughs> worry, That's true, we killed a boy. lot of people. All this trouble. You gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? Alright. Alright. And who knows what could go wrong now? Arthur's all injured. I need some revenge on the old Driscoll's. I need it, guys. I 
I hate them so much. What they did to there Arthur. This is the spot. Perfect. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. A lockpick? <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Yay! Hold tight. They'll be here soon. Got a lock breaker now. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Do we not look suspicious? So they don't see you. And please we that gun in its holster for once. Mm-hmm. Wait, we've got to keep our distance, haven't we? I'll let him get a bit ahead. Okay, here we go. They will never know. Come on, horsey. Force him to be in very slow today. I think last episode probably traumatised him. And honestly, I don't blame him. stay back but I just don't know what distance okay I think this is a good distance why There's someone there. I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. Yeah, get out the stagecoach. Go. I've heard enough. Might I have your card? The event is on the twenty third of this month. We actually did it stealthy, guys. Pat on the back for me. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Thank you for the money. I love that noise he does. I can't do it. I'm learning. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. Not sure that lighting you know, is. Teamwork, my dear boy. Why are we glowing? Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. 
Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. See you later, Trelawney. 750, fuck! Silver in friends in very low places. Okay. I don't know why you suddenly hitched to a tree. I did not put you there. Okay, so if we look on the map, we have one mission with Bill back in Rhodes. So let's head back into Rhodes and see what Bill has. This is the only mission we can do, surprisingly. I thought there'd be a few more at this point because in Red Dead 1, throughout the whole game, you pretty much had an option of missions to do. Yeah. But at the moment, we only be see only seem to be receiving like two or three at a time, which I don't mind to be honest, it keeps it more concise. And you have a lot of freedom to do side missions and stuff anyway. But it's just a bit different. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry, Forzen. You're looking real nice today, Bill. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, what's going on over here, lads? You wanted me, Bill? A short walk Been in a pretty town. You, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses. They're not going to recognize us? Because we need to stay in with them and their paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill. Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what about board in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's... I mean, they're probably yeah. cutting on now. They think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these Grey Boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being... Oh, stop some poo. <laughs> they were saying that Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. No, it doesn't. No, it don't feel right. I could have told you. Shoot! Supposed to do a mission with Sean as well. I don't think Sean's okay. I think Sean's fucking dead. Why do we keep falling for traps? Why are we getting involved in this shit? We should be laying low after what happened with me in the fucking O'Driscolls. I'm so glad about Sean, man. I was well looking forward to doing a side mission later in the stream. Oh, fuck. This bitch. I'm about to die. I'm trying! Is this not the back door? I'm sorry, I pressed the wrong one. I was supposed to kick it in. Okay, I'm in, I'm in. Oh shit, what are you doing in here? Nice, that was sick. You're getting sloppy, Morgan. Yeah, I can feel that as well, to be honest. Don't talk to me about sloppy. Better in here, not there. I am shook that Sean is dead. I like Sean. How dare you fucking kill my family? 
I knew we should have got involved with this fucking family feud. Sucking today. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna get to you next. This is some damn possum to grace rounded up. We'd have had to deal with these sons of bitches sooner or later. Just turned out to be sooner. The shop is hot, great. Fools, you ain't got nothing on us. Kind of ride away on your horse. Get over yourself. No, you don't. Looks like most of them. Not all of them. Sheriff Gray. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. I'm gonna take all these while we're here. Come on, Sheriff. You try and play with us, you go and die. Worse than you, a hundred times over. This is the Gray's town. Always has been, always will be. Only Gray's I see left around here is you. You want us to come out? We'll come out. They're going to have Bill, aren't they? God damn it, Bill! Don't do it! Dead eye, dead eye, dead eye. Do that. You put the gun down, Chef. I'll blow his brains out. You want to join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? God damn it, Bill! Sean! He was a good kid. Well, how the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you, same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. But I don't get anyone Except killed. Your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Hurry him. Proper someplace quiet. Micah, best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. I want to loot the dead bodies. Why do they make me kill everyone and then I don't get to loot the dead bodies? <laughs> god damn it. And god damn, you're missing out on that, that robbery side mission. Oh shit, we fucked the Sean's town. Been killed. His head shot half off in an ambush. Still no Confederate gold. But a shitload of trouble. We should leave while we still can. It's not going well for us recently. A short walk in a pretty town. Road and the surrounding area are now in lockdown. Remaining lawmen in the area will be looking for you. Great! Hey, hey, friend. Hey there, partner. That's a strong looking horse. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Apparently, Brian Daycup voices one of the NPCs in this. I want to find him at some point. Uh, you know, Connor from 
Connor from Detroit Become Human. Right, let's head on back to camp. What a disaster this has been, guys. We accidentally got Micah killed, but that was just an accident. <laughs> but it's not looking good for the gang at the moment. I think we need to move again. It was good for a while, and now we're just receiving fucking blow after blow. And it's not, it's not going great. Not gonna lie. Not going great. Let's go see what Dutch has to say about the whole situation, I guess. Supplies are okay. Which is good. Alright, you stay there, Forzen. Seems like they're having some sort of disagreement over here as well. Seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Blood feuds, ancient and modern. Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh, great. I saw a couple of fellas sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him. We will bring him back to you. And we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail. You have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch! We just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. Poor Jack, all he does is get kidnapped, okay. doesn't he, in his life? Let's go get that boy back. The first time of many. <laughs> Fine, we're all riding out, guys. They must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. Wow, this game went from zero to 100 real fucking quick. I'm moving up I in the group. To to you, but I don't think there is any gold. And if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. No, I don't want to be at the back of the group. I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. We've somehow made them join <laughs> forces and go against us. You were complaining about this game being slow. Mm mm. It was just leading up to the fucking shitstorm that's happening now, and we ain't even close to the okay. end yet. Get we're about forty percent right. through the game. Nobody makes a move until I say so. I know I need to pace myself for this game though, and not play it super quick because I'm gonna be so sad when it's over as well. But goddamn, I just want to finish this game. They could ambush us here so easy. Now what the hell are we doing? They're probably waiting for us. First Sean, now Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Come on, let's get this done, John. You sure you're okay? Like I said. I'm fine. You've got this, John. We're here for you. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. We're out in the open here, lads. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches. John, I need you to stay calm. Get down here now, you inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Yeah. 
Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. You shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. It's a low blow. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. We're going to have a shootout, are we? Good. You're fucking going down. How dare you take Jack? You ain't gonna be civilized about this. Go against us, fucking Dutchers gang. Think again. I can't even loot him. I don't want to loot him. I don't want to loot him. I just want to get fucking Jack back. And find that Braithwaite woman! Jack! You in here? Jack! Jack! Oh shit! Sometimes I press R once instead of R2 to shoot and I have no idea why. <laughs> Go, go, go! Why are you walking, Arthur? John, Arthur, we'll hold it down here. We got more coming in. Arthur, get out there. We got this door covered. Come on. There's a rifle over there. Come on. Get up and back. They holding like Molotovs? Guys, I'm, I'm feeling really aggy, like, the past, this episode and last episode, oh. What, what are you doing? Go around and help Okay, John. okay, okay. Um. We've been getting shot on, I'm, I ain't having it. John, move. One, two, three. Get wrecked. You fucking inbreds. Ah! 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 
You want me to kill you too, old woman? You bastards! Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. That's not what I asked. How long you fucking lived here? Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right, we get her out of here. What about down? <laughs> Dutch is fucking savage. That's what you get. Well, let's get this hag outside. Any more of our sons to deal with? No, we reckon they're all dead. You mess with us, you're gonna get fucked. Although that's fucking savage as well. I mean, she's a bit old, isn't she? Dutch to drag her down the stairs by her. Let's set this house on. Oh wait, are we set this house on fire? Game. Thanks for the hat though, dude. I want to loop, but I don't want to ruin the scene. I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are liquor. off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there. We're on the boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. I've actually got goosebumps right now. Fuck. This is insane and I fucking love it. That music as well, just a whole mission. So good. Mwah! Work of art that was. Well done, Rockstar Games. It's gonna work out, John. The Battle of Shady Bell. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? The boy will be fine. But, well, of course, Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> for nothing? No. No. Not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland. Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. <clears throat> Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure? Agent Moron. <laughs> I don't know if you're aware, but this Anna. this is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man. So in love with greed. He has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? 
Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? Ain't that fine. <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Have they got Just us surrounded? In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake. All of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me. Boy. What now? How dare he speak to Lenny like that? And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house hidden in the swamps outside Saint Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Oh, I know the house. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. All right, me. Shady Bell. Where is Shady Bell on the map? Just curious. Okay. It's on the edge of like the furthest area we've explored. I'm it's like, right. I've fallen in love with this game Should ten times more today. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew him right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch. Not enough. We'll say it too. Get involved with those two families. Oh yeah, that was stupid. The master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always? Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davey, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. And rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this Yeah, life. poor Jack. I don't I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Oh, sorry, Dad. All right. I said guys <laughs> and something else at the same time. I was saying guys and lads at the same time. It came out as gads. Your eyes, life's changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you. 
Don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. Oh yeah, inside is a fucking shithole. You sure this place is empty? Jesus Christ, John. Nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here. And take a look. Got my oh, shotgun out. Shit. It's them again. Ah, boys. Damn it. Still some here. I can see that. You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. Ah. <sighs> Good old loot, and I missed that. You've killed so many people, and I've barely looted anyone. And that's a real tragedy, really. From the past few place episodes of this playthrough. Oh, shit. Get out of here. Now. Get! Actually, no, they're the Moyne Raiders. Fuck these assholes. No mercy. Sorry. Not sorry. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? Where are you, creeps, hot? Come out where I can shoot you. That's the <laughs> One potato, two potato, three potato, four. I knew you'd come. Soon enough. You are some other coward. Like you. Bounty hunters, the freedmen, the carpet beggars, the army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. Jesus. Okay. I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. Come help me with this, will you? Okay, I saw like a break lock thing. Um. Okay, let's go outside and help John. We sort of looted this place earlier on, and they're really. Doing, Actually, must have dead body over here. I'm looting John. We're poor, remember? We need all the fucking money we can get. Although we can't loot him. Okay, we'll go and help John. This way. Everything all right up there? Uh huh. Man, they sure have to rush me, rush me in this game, don't they? That's probably one of the downsides so far. Is I feel a bit rushed occasionally. Here. Give me a hand oh. moving these bodies. Uh huh. The others walking into this. How thoughtful, John. Follow me. Where are we placing them in? Right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. All right, to the alligators you go. Bye bye. Okay, I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan. Guide them in. All right. See you soon. You gotta pick up all these bodies from the house. To be fair, I guess we can drop them over the side. <laughs> That would actually be a lot easier than walking up and down the stairs every time. Okay. One in here. That's the one I looted you. Oh well. Oh, I can't throw you off the edge. Well, that's disappointing. Guess I'll just take you down the stairs then. Um, like a normal human being who's being respectful of dead bodies. Come on, Arthur. I can sort of see why John turned out the way he did and became a lone wolf. So, of course, to go from this to just having his family, I, I'm so curious to what happens at the end and the rest of the gang. But I also don't want to know because I don't want the game to ever end. Welcome home, Ollie. Two uh, 
by my humble abode. We got fine living. Nor the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. <laughs> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. She always seems to be getting interrupted, that lady. Guess we're going on a ride of Dutch. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. She Can loves you. Okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We're going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. No shit. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the west for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm well, still damn, it's getting way it. more industrialized, this area. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any of course. Case, we, more pressing matters to we always to need first. more money. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Chapter 4, Saint Denis. Okay, mission complete, the Battle of Shady Bell. We're actually going to end the episode there, guys. Sorry it's a bit shorter than usual. Sorry, there's fucking sirens going on outside. But, um, this episode's been crazy. I just can't believe all that shit happened. Um... We lost Sean, Jack's been kidnapped, the whole family thing blew up in our faces, we had to kill a lot of people, we set her house on fire, we dragged her down the stairs by her hair, fucking, we took this place again, We and then some guy killed himself in front of us, honestly, it's just been, it's been a crazy episode, but the story's really picking up pace now, and I'm so, 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 so enjoying it so much. Um, if you guys are too and enjoying this playthrough, remember to smash that like button. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe and the notification bell. We're almost at 100, 1,000 of followers, guys. So I'd be really appreciative if you guys could hit that sub button. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.